Hey, Mary, guys, Chef John, get a gourmet. Okay, so what I'm making is um, I've already peeled the shrimp. I've got a sole right there. I'm going to do the sole um, deep fried. I'm going to um, do the shrimp, lemon, pepper. And then what else am I doing? Oh, yeah, I'm doing vegetable fried rice. I'm just broccoli um, and green onion because that's what I got. Oh, I got a little, I got a little. I got a little. I have a little yellow pepper. Orange. Orange. Look, I have carrots too. We can do that too. Bam. I've been talking to the cat all day. I should be fine. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. All right. So, uh, let's start with, um, I'm watching Eight Heads in a Duffel Bag, and it's cracking me up. So, I'm not going to, I'm not, no music today. We're just going to do with the food. So, um, I've got a fryer over here. I've got some day-old... Or two day old rice. Or, hold on. <laughs> yeah. That's some uh, two day old basmati. That should work fine. Uh, we're going to take the veggies and put them over here for a second. <laughs> and then we are going to. And I'm going to do this so a little bit different than the last time. Okay. Uh, I still have some of that egg mix. Add a little bit more milk to it to beef it up. And I just did that completely wrong. But, And then we're going to go. Oh, by the way, I spiced uh, the breading. This is a combination of the sourdough uh, crumbs that I left over. I threw the stuff away from... The other night because I felt in doubt about it and it, um, breading's cheap and uh, chicken is a dangerous product and I didn't want to mess around so boom boom and uh, so and there is our fish and we're gonna put the rest of our breading back in there I leave our fish right there and we're gonna put a little dust underneath and a little bit on top because I told you that fish is gonna sweat and so this is gonna be a little bit different breading than the um, than the last time because the egg is gonna expand um, in the fryer um, panko shrimp is really cool you do uh, the 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 wet the, the flour and then the egg and then the um, then the dry breading and um, use panko, and it creates this really big puff around the shrimp. But we don't want to do that. So I'm going to take my shrimp. All right, and I'm just going to open them up just a little bit because I'm going to make these flat shrimp. These are 21 uh, 30s. Get the raw all the way from the cooked. So, it's Saturday. I hope everybody's having a good time. Hope you enjoyed the red sauce. We got one more sauce to do, and that's hollandaise. And hollandaise and broccoli is quite awesome. But I need to re-clarify some butter. And to do that, I need to, I think I only have one block. I don't like getting down below one block of butter, so I need to go buy two more blocks of butter. But anyways, I cut that one too far. <laughs> I'd be cracking myself up. All right. Ooh, what am I doing? Not too late. Put them on the counter or put them on the counter. All right. And then we're going to rinse that out. Making pulled pork 
Not today, tomorrow. Um, takes all day. Uh, rinse hands. Okay. And then we're going to bread the shrimp. So, we'll come back over here. We'll put you on deck. Um, I want to make these lemon peppers, so... I stored my pepper kernels in there, with lemon pepper, and bam, lemon pepper. A little bit more. Now I could make like a lemon aioli with this or something, but um, once I do the egg thing, I need another pie tin. I just had tacos last night with some beef and, you know, sometimes I'm a little too tired to be, well, yeah. Charles, no. Life is tiring. Um, also, we have mayonnaise out, uh, pickles out, Old Bay, a little lemon juice because I'm going to make a... Okay. So I'm just uh, well, the shrimp are over there. I don't want to put them on my deck here. Oh. Went in dry hand. Went in dry hand. I'm making a dry hand over here. I got jokes. All right. So I hope you can. So I'm gonna take it like that. Dust on top of it. Push down. Okay. Dust on top of it. Push down. Pick the shrimp up. Push down one more time. Gently coated. Place down like that. Doesn't have enough lemon pepper in there. Use it all, right? What's that? I need a new shaker. <laughs> I think I think that cost me like 99 cents, so I'm not too pressed about it. So, next one. <laughs> These guys are cracking me up. <laughs> Talking about people's heads.
Sorry. Yeah, I'm watching the TV. So, yeah, um, this is a uh, Red Lobster started doing lemon pepper shrimp. Yeah, somewhere right before Darden took over, the, um, the they started opening up their um, their ideas in the house. And it was kind of cool because what they would do is Red Lobster had only so much product coming in. And they started taking all the in-house product and then combining it. Kind of like you I do with, oh, hey, let's put this with this, right? And lemon pepper and Cajun shrimp were some of the very first things that they um, started putting on the menu. That was back before the whole, this is, we're talking the mid-80s, so we're talking, or the late 80s, so we're talking before the whole culinary and craze started kicking in. That really didn't start kicking in until the mid-90s. And then it really picked up gear. Yeah, that looked pretty nice, huh? I'm going to put a little extra on top. And we're going to do the same thing. We need to sweat these, right? So I'll put that up. Okay, we got our rice ready. We got our shrimp ready for frying. I'm going to throw the rest of that egg out because it's got chicken and shrimp in it. And that's just a nope. Dangerous stuff to end egg, so yeah, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. It's enough things that are not good for you in a highly volatile situation, and it's been out of the fridge and all that, da 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 So that was the sole and the shrimp, and uh, I'm going to hit the button and then come back right back, sit down and get a gourmet.